Excuse me. On speakerphone. Is, is Michelle leaving? I no. hope not. No. Okay. I'm here. Oh, good. All right. So we'll figure it out. We got, <laughs> I've got the phone on speakerphone, kind of like Alicia does with Lanita. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> but at least we can see you. So there you go. All right. Okay. There we go. There we go. So who's got scripture and who's got prayer? Any prayer requests, first of all? Excuse me. I have one. I need you guys to be praying for us. Um, looks like we'll be headed home this weekend. Woo! Oh, praise God. God. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's good. Awesome. That's awesome. And uh, pray for me. I will be leaving Thursday. All right. Um, headed to Louisiana. My sister, I spoke with her today, my sister Marion, who had the stroke, is in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were able to come from Detroit um, for my nephew. Her son's funeral is on Saturday. Mm, okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on, what do you call it? Just pray for me. I'm just like, oh I didn't want to come on here. I'm going to cry, but that's okay. You're in good company. Yeah, we're praying for you. We're here for yes. you. Yeah. It's, it's, you've had a hard, hard year with your family, and oh my goodness. Oh, and it's, it's never ending. Uh, my sister, my other sister who lives in uh, Louisiana, who was coming to pick me up at the airport, had a major car accident and her car was totaled. And when oh. I looked at the car, it's like, oh my, just, just grateful that she made it through that. But she's, she didn't have anything broken, but just bruised. So I just spoke, I spoke with her this afternoon also. And uh, so just prayer for her as well. Um, a car hit, ran into the back of her. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's like I'm on overload. So, but God is good, and He knows the plan. Uh, so. We are definitely praying for traveling grace for you. Thank you. Are you going by yourself? Yeah, yeah. I'm going. I'm going by myself. Um, but and I'll just be gone. I'm from this Thursday to next Thursday. I'll just be gone a week. What are your sister's name, Harriet? Her sis, uh, my name, my, my name, my sister's <laughs> name is Sadie. Sadie McCaskill. Okay. And she sounded, oh, this morning, she didn't sound good at all. And then I checked, I told her I would to get some rest and I'd check in with her. They just kept her overnight at the hospital on, I think this happened uh, Saturday night. Mm. Uh, Sunday night, and they were celebrating my other sister's birthday, and she was trying to drop something off to someone, and when she was rear-ended. So uh, today, in the afternoon, when I called her, she sounded so much better, and she said she was just having some pain from the bruises, but bruises, no, nothing was broken. Oh, oh my. That's right. Thankfully, yeah. Oh, okay. Put this back on now. <laughs> Anyone else? What a blessing. Uh, right. Keep my family in prayer. And okay, so scripture and who's got scripture, who's got prayer? Well, this is a switch up because last week nobody showed <laughs> I was all by myself. Oh, so this is awesome. 
So how did that go? Did you just talk to yourself or what? Yeah, but I didn't report it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, no, I didn't do it. I waited for about 15, 20 minutes, and then I thought, no, oh, I had some stuff to talk about anyway, so it worked out. Yeah. Um, so, scripture, who's got it? I have a scripture. Awesome. Okay, it's uh, going to be Psalm 100, and I'm reading out of the uh, New International Version, Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture, and his court side. Um, enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. That was the reading of Psalm 100 out of the New International Version. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. going to open us up in prayer. <laughs> Don't all jump at once. Alicia, are you on mute? She's on mute on purpose, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll, I'll go. <laughs> uh, I have me, Father, we come to you today. And we're just so thankful, Lord, that you woke us up this morning and kept us safe while we slept yeah. through the night. And, Lord, as we go forth, we just pray that you look upon our sisters that are here. You know, each one of their needs i have me father so we come to you now and asking you to pray for sister harriet who is going back to be with her sister and support her family and the loss of her her nephew our heavenly father so we just ask you to give her strength because we know it's been a hard time within a month's time she's had to bury two of her close relatives, Lord. So we just ask you to strengthen this family as she goes forth. Let her know, Lord, that you're with her and that she's not alone as she goes forth and continue to bless her and strengthen her. And we want to pray for Sister Teresa and her son Larry, our Heavenly Father, and that, you know, their journey will be safe when they return, Lord, and that they won't have to go back for a while. And we just ask you to, you know, continue to encourage her and continue to, you know, bless her as she goes forward. We're so thankful that we're able to see Larry today and have yeah. him walk in. And so we just ask you with him and goes through this journey. And Lord, when he comes out, his testimony is going to be just ask you to bless him with that and, you know, let him be a light and to guide his family as he goes forth. We want to pray for Sister Michelle at home with her mom. Thank you, Lord, that, you know, we've heard so much and just see how joyful she is to have her daughter with her. We just pray for their time together, that it will be an enjoyable time and that they will be able to have a good fellowship. I have a father. We're so thankful that you're looking after and we just pray that you keep them both safe as they're there in Florida. And we want to pray for Sister Maria and we want to just, you know, ask you to strengthen her and her family and her daughter as, you know, they go forth. I have the Father continue to bless them and keep her strong in the way that she needs to be. And then, Lord, we want to pray for my family, that you bless them and keep them close and keep them strong. And so much is happening in the world today, Heavenly Father. And we just want to, you know, recognize, Lord, that who you are and that you're in charge of everything. And for us to put our faith and our trust in you and not in man. So we come forth now. We give you all our praise and our glory. We ask you to look upon our pastor. 
and ask you to, you know, bless him as he goes forth, keep him strict, keep him strong, and keep him, you know, alert and through the pressures that he has to go through. And then we want to just pray for our church and our church family, the walkers who are still grieving the loss of their mother and their loved one. We just ask you to, you know, bless these families and, and keep them strengthened. Lord, and I know I've forgotten someone, and but we, you know, just look upon those that, you know, were not mentioned in prayer, Lord, that you know, but keep, keep them strong as they go forth. All these things we ask in our son's name is for us, say, do it. Amen. Amen. So we know I probably don't have to put you on speakerphone, do I? I think um, we can hear you through your phone, right? You mean me? Yeah. 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 Nothing. I'm going to hang up because they... <laughs> I don't need to be on the phone with you since we can hear you on the computer, right? And then Sister Diane is here now too. Woo be able to hear you. Uh oh. Can we not hear you through your phone? Hi, Sister Diane. Uh oh. Uh oh. How about now? Oh, yeah. That's Sister Nikki's mom. Say something, Michelle. Hi, ladies. Okay. You oh, heard oh. that. Well, that was oh, the Lord. Again. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hey. Michelle. Hi. Hi. How are you? Sorry, I'm late. That's okay. Oh, good seeing you. We just started. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. There you are. You can hear me now, right? Now we can what? Hear you. Okay. Okay. All right. We're just getting into our lesson. We've had some technical uh, difficulties here, but we're good. All right. We should now. It should hey, be. What happened? Green. Well, I'm I'm sharing the sharing screen, so it should be coming up. So today is before and after photos. We are reading Ephesians two, which has twenty two, I believe, verses. Twenty two verses. So there's one. Oh my goodness! So sorry about that. One, two, three, four, five, six of us. <laughs> so if you want you. we can each read uh four and the last person will probably only have to read two uh, okay all right i'll start and then we can just go on down uh, i'll read ephesians 2 1 through 4 i'm going to read it out of this book but what whichever version you want to read is fine um, and it says, and although you were dead in your transgressions and sins, which you formerly lived according to this world's present path, according to the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the ruler of the spirit that is now energizing the sons of disobedience, among whom all of us formerly lived out our lives in the cravings of our flesh, indulging the desires of the flesh and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. But God, being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us. So, so. who wants to read five through eight? Even though we were dead in transgressions, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you are saved. Hallelujah. And he raised us up with him and seated Amen. us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus to demonstrate in the coming ages the surpassing God. love of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ, in Christ Jesus. For by grace you are saved through faith. 
And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God. Mm -hmm. 9 through 12. Oh. Let me read it. It is not from great, I mean, it is not from work so that no one can boast. For we are his workmanship, having been created in Christ Jesus for good works that God prepared beforehand so we may do them. Therefore, remember that formerly you, the Gentiles in the flesh who are called, on circumcision by the so-called circumcision that is performed on the body by human hands, that you were at that time without the Messiah, alienated from the citizenship of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. Okay. <laughs> Sister Teresa, you want to read 13 through 16? 13 through 16? Mm -hmm. Yes. But now in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. but now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far away have been brought near through the blood of Christ. For he has brought our card. peace, who has made the two superior by dividing wall of hostility. So through which one? Uh, 16. Okay. By abolishing in his flesh the law with his commandment and regulations, his purpose was to create himself one new man out of two, thus making peace, and in this one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross, by which he, he put to death their hostility. Okay. What am I hearing? Is that a television? No, that was Davion. I'm telling you to turn it up. Turn it off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And oh. 17 through 20. Okay. Alicia or Michelle? Uh, okay. Let me see. Let me. Okay. He has brought this good news of peace and uh, peace to you Gentiles who were far away from him and to the Jews who were near. Now all of us, both Jews and Gentiles, may come to the Father through the same Holy Spirit because of what Christ has done for us. And what, to where? Where did you say stop? I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, so now you Gentiles are no longer strangers or foreigners. You are citizens along with all of God's holy people. You are members of God's family. We are, uh, see, we are his house built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. And the cornerstone is uh, Christ Jesus himself. Mm -hmm. 21 and 22. Michelle, have you got 21 and 22? Can you hear me though? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. I'll read 21 and 22. In him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him, you too are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his spirit. Amen. Amen. So it says circle the big transition marker, but God, verse four. And then it says what, and I think I forgot something in here now that we were reading through it. It says, what is Paul's general assessment of all humans before he says, but God. So verses one through three. And I think, let's see, I put they were dead in transgressions and sins in which they formerly lived. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. 
and then lived out their lives in the cravings of their flesh and that they were indulgers of the desires of the flesh and the mind and were by nature children of wrath even as the rest i feel mm. like i forgot something <laughs> <laughs> That they're. Hmm. I think that's it. I think that's yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's it too. Yeah. Well, this one that says the ruler of the spirit that is now energizing the sons of disobedience. So also that they were sons of disobedience. Mm. And that's the one I forgot. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. What, what verse was that? Yeah. That was in two. So the part where it said, in which they formerly lived, mm -hmm. but then it says, according to this world's present path, according to the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the ruler of the spirit that is now energizing the sons of disobedience. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 According to this world's present path. Yeah. So then that he says, but God. But God. All right. Well, you listed a lot of things that were definitely part of that list of before the but God. So that's true. Yeah. Thank God for the but God. <laughs> uh -huh. So then it says, go through today's passage and fill in the two, which we talk about it, fill in the two columns below to get a picture of humanity versus God's grace. On the left, put the evidence of all humanity's broken state. On the right, list what Paul says God has done about it. So I'm guessing these up here. So... They were dead in transgressions and sins in which they formerly lived. No. Oh, okay. And then what God has done about it, verse 5, even though we were dead in transgressions, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you are saved. Ah. Mm -hmm. Helps if you read. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then lived out their lives. Mm in the cravings of their flesh. My Bible makes it real easy. It, it has a list just like the before and after. Oh, does it? Okay, go for it. <laughs> okay, uh, the before, they have dead in transgressions, which is what you said, Maria. Mm -hmm. Then the after, made alive with Christ. Mm-hmm. Then they have a before, objects of wrath, and the after, shown God's mercy and given salvation. Mm -hmm. And then the next before is followed the ways of the world, and the after, stand for Christ and truth. The before, God's enemies. The after, God's children. And then the last before, oh no, not the last before. Another before is enslaved to Satan. And the mm. after, free in Christ Amen. to love, serve, and sit with him. And then the last before is followed our evil thoughts and desires. And then the after raised up with Christ to glory. Amen. Wow. So those were those were the befores and the afters. Now, which one are you reading from? Uh, the uh, it's a life application Bible. Okay. Oh. It's a life ap uh, application Bible, and it was mm -hmm. you know the new uh, international version is the translation. Yeah. I have that one too. Yeah, so that was real helpful yeah. to see that. 
Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just repeating this. Sorry, I'm just trying to that's it's almost like you don't know how far down you've gone or you know mm -hmm. lost in sin you are until you let it's, God into your heart. Yeah. I, mean, I honestly didn't know all of the things, uh, pretty much everything I was doing, down to my parenting, everything. Yeah. Was, you know, I, I really did not realize how far down I really was until I was saved. And I think you just don't, you know, just my reaction to things that even the things I thought I was doing well, I wasn't because I had no God in my life. I mean, I believed in God, but I didn't consult him on anything. And it was a, no wonder why I lost everything that I had was because, you know, when he says a house built on sand, um, I don't remember how it goes, of course, right now, but, um, you know, there was, there was nothing that I, I didn't pray. I didn't teach my kids about God. We didn't go to church. I didn't, you know, it was, there was none mm -hmm. of that. And just in my whole, you know, like I said, raised Catholic, but that didn't mean anything. And, um, you know, I couldn't wait to get away from there and that, you know, I didn't realize back then it wasn't. God that I was running away from. It was just the mm -hmm. people, but I equated it as a lot of people do. I equated it with church and with, with God and with, you know, people who believed in God and that just that they were, there was such a, um, there was such a discrepancy between what the Bible was saying and how these people were acting and I didn't have the know-how or the, you know, the, the faith even, or, you know, just the understanding. I never even cracked open, really. I, I heard these things there. They were talking about what Jesus was and what God was and all of that, but they weren't acting it. So it was so, wow. yeah, I, I just, I couldn't get away from it far enough, you know, and for a long time and then it wasn't until I got on my knees because he of course when he's ready to call you man he does it you know I had a situation with my daughter and he you know that's one way to get to me boy is through my children amen yeah and so you know I I remember getting on my knees and saying God if you just you know help her through this or give it to me to to bear or whatever I promise mm -hmm. I'll go to church. I'll teach her about yeah. God. I'll do this. And he's laughing like, yeah, like you had a choice. Gee, thanks for the favor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he did, of course, he came through and it was, it was more than I could have even asked for. And that's actually how we ended up at, um, at CBC was I didn't have a church, but I knew I didn't want to go to Catholic church again. And, um, I, I had seen, I can't remember what I was watching, but I remember seeing a Baptist church, you know, and they were singing, the, it was like a gospel choir, and these people were, the way that they were talking about God and it, the joy that they had and, and the songs and the, the emotion and, and that they were like speaking out in church, you know, was something I had never seen. I'm like, now, which God, which God are they talking about? That's the God. I'm <laughs> like, we going to be talking about the same God. I'm like, what God is that? I remember my husband at the time saying, like, he just started laughing. Like, what do you mean what God? Is the same God you believe in? I'm like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm like, I want to love God like that. You know, get get us somewhere like that. I don't want to go to Catholic Church. Get me somewhere like that because that's the kind of joy I um, so after we got done with court and everything worked out, we were walking out talking about like, oh my gosh, that was amazing. Like, 
and I looked at my husband and I said, oh, by the way, um, you need to find a church. He's like, what? I said, God and I had a little talk. <laughs> he said, go find a church. We're going to start going to church. He's like, uh, okay. So the next, like the next day, I think that was, no, that was December 31st. It was the last day of that last year. And a couple days later, they went to, um, they went to find a church and ended up finding this one. And they came back, he came back and, and she's like, mom, I think we're really going to like this place. <laughs> she's like, okay, well, we're going to go. So we came that first year we were here was, um, it was the first Sunday in 2012, I believe. Mm. it was january was the very first sunday of the new year and that's when we started here and uh, wow i remember being scared because people were yelling and i thought they were angry and i thought they were gonna get but that was true i'm like what are they doing and he's just laughing at me like crazy <laughs> this is not Catholic Church. I'm like, no, because these people would be in so much trouble. <laughs> but I thought they were angry, and I just didn't know. I had never experienced anything like it, but I, it was the first time that I ever experienced God, and I'm like, wow, I, I don't care if I don't fit in here, and if I stick out like a sore thumb, I love it. I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was, the, that was when the word and God, when all of that truly got poured into me and I actually felt it and you just don't leave something like that, no matter what you have to go through. And I've gone through to be here, but I, I just, I hold on to that and that God has just been so good and I never experienced anything like I do. So. Little did you know, huh? I know, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. What you were in for. Exactly. And it was actually yeah. Sister Walker, like I, I've said before, I've told the story one day, not long after we had been here, and um, she got up and started talking about how the elders, it was their time to start letting go of these responsibilities that they had taken on and that, you know, the rest of the younger ones needed to stand mm -hmm. up and find their place. And she talked about find your place. And I did not know mm -hmm. what that meant, but what she, her words really touched me and God really used her that day. And um, I really took all that to heart. And that's when I found, you know, the first thing that had happened, I prayed about it. And the first thing that had happened was that next Sunday, I was approached to come into the finance committee. And like, hey, we, we hear you have a background in bookkeeping. I'm like, I don't know <laughs> who told you that? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they're like, oh, we'd love for you to come in. And I'm like, okay, well, wow. Okay, God. And then came the media <laughs> department, and then came all this stuff, and I'm like, wait, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> <that." laughs> so, but yeah, so, but I really, in being here, in keeping with, with what we're talking about, is that I didn't realize how far away from God I truly was when I, you know, I felt like I was somewhat close, you know, like, I know who he is. <laughs> I believe in him. Isn't that enough? No, it's mm -hmm. not enough, actually. <laughs> So, um, you know, I've just, yeah. it's just been, it's been an amazing journey. It hasn't been easy for sure, but, um, you know, every time I read the Bible, I, I read about these people where their journey was, was less than enjoyable at times, mm -hmm. <laughs> to say the least, including Paul. So anyway, that's me. Everybody else talk now. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Um, I like I like how I was saying um uh in the uh I think this is I hope I'm on the right thing. Dead into your trans trespasses and sins. Uh -huh. uh, and mm -hmm. almost at the bottom of that page it says life. Likewise, sin is a rule that separates us from God and leaves us powerless to repair the damages. 
we have no spiritual breath. We have no captivity to heal from the effects of sin. We must depend on God to conquer sin and raise us to life. Um, I like that because uh, I wasn't raised up in the church. So, I uh, mean, my mom and my mom and dad t- tried to teach us, taught us about right from wrong, but um, it's bigger than that, you know. Being a getting a relationship with Christ because he, he, I didn't know then what I know now is that he had a bigger plan for me because now I can sit and reflect on when I was living in sin and the, and the danger that I was in, but his hedge of protection just covered me uh, because if it had not been for him, I you know sin further ahead because he does. He sees so much further that we couldn't even imagine what he had in store. Mm-hmm. Yes. So just being able to get through, I mean, because you need, you need, even though I was in the world, I needed to be tough. I needed to be a protector of my children. All those qualities that we, that I use now, but I, I try to use them where God is pleased with them and not where <laughs> myself is because if I use them for myself, it might not work out for his good. So I like that because I was dead in my sins, but because of his, but God, because of his glorious, his glorious love for me, you know, he brought me from that into his marvelous light. And I think that's the part that, that I can't let, you know, it just makes me love him more and more. It makes me want to tell somebody about how good he is, even using my own testimony. Because now we're living in a in a in an age where it's so much going on. Um, and you want me anyway, I want people to, you know, when they see even though we're in so much chaos, but because it has to happen like this in Revelation. But when people see, uh, man, she's always, she's, you know, she's always got a smile or something. Now, don't get me wrong, because I have my moments. (laughs) But the majority of the time, I try to, you know, I want people to see that he said that you want people to see him in you. Um, And you know, those those fruits of the spirits Ephesians talks about, you know, love, kind, humbleness, and all that stuff. That's what uh that's what he wants people that's what he wants us to be. Um and so I can honestly say that even though I've been through storms in this walk with Christ, that if it had not been for him, I wouldn't be able to continue on. I wouldn't be able to, you know, and that's why I can't let him go. That's why I'm, that's why I know we're going somewhere else that we're not going to have to go through no sickness, no tears, no pain. We're going to be done with all that if we keep, keep on the Christ-like path. And that gets me through daily, even when I'm having a bad day. Praise be to God. Amen. Yes. Well, you know, I know you were sharing Sunday how, you know, God is working in your life, how you're able to, you know, to share God with other people that you come in contact with. You know, you and Jim go out and um, go to different places and, you know, be there with people who are in need. So, you know, that's what God wants you to do. I love it. I love it. You know, if I see a homeless person on the street and I'm walking because... You know, I'm a, I'm a stop and share. I'm mm-hmm. a share. I'm at least ask, you know, whether it be, you go a dollar, do you believe in Jesus Christ? You know, and a lot of them tell me, because he said the poor will always be among us. A lot of them faith is very strong out there, you know. Mm-hmm. It has to be. Mm-hmm. And I won't stop. I won't stop and I'll keep running this race until he calls me home to glory. Because it's the best work. It's the best race, ladies. It really is. Even when mm-hmm. we don't, we don't understand. We don't understand. You know, he does. He understands, mm-hmm. and he wants us to hold on to that faith that we have. You know. 
Yeah. So, and, you know, you look at each one of your lives, you know, you are going through struggles in your life now. Yeah. Five years ago, you didn't think you were going to be going through it. And, <laughs> you know, you don't know whose life that you are touching as you Amen. go through that and yeah. who you're coming in contact with. So, you know, whatever that you do and how you live it, you know, that is to glorify God. You know, they're going right. to see, even if you don't say God, they're going to see something in you that's good. I like so, David. I like songs because David was always talking to the Lord. Good, bad, singing. He was you know, raw. He's always. <laughs> <laughs> always. He cried to the Lord. Yeah. Whatever he do, he always coming back to God. Mm -hmm. You know. And I and that's you know, I talk to him, I talk to him, people think I'm crazy, I talk to him to him. I talk to him, you know. Ain't nobody in the car, just Jesus and me. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's, right. <laughs> that's my best rider. <laughs> I love how, how God just takes all our journey and just turn it into his benefit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And it says it in the word, you know, he will take the worst and make it for his glory. Amen. Um, you know, just you to you Amen. all talk just as, mm -hmm. we, as we come through this journey. We all can reflect back from where we came from, whether we mm -hmm. were raised up in church or came in at a later time in life. And God takes mm -hmm. all of that and uses it to his glory and uses us to reach out to those because yep. everything we've been through, we can go help that sister and brother because we already know. And we mm -hmm. know what joy that we have right now. You know, I I reflect on what sister Sister Walker, she was one of the ladies in the church that um uh, she reminded me of my first pastor. She was very elegant, you know, she 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 showed a lot of fruits of the spirits uh and she never wavered so to be able when i'm gone home glory that's what that's what i want people to remember uh yeah she had her moments but one thing she loved was the lord jesus christ you know, you know and hopefully mm -hmm. yeah she like sister Banks, sister Banks, you know those yeah. martyrs, they she was one mm -hmm. too. Uh, you know, memo. Where is it? he called you memo. <laughs> Love it. I'm telling you, being watching these grandkids, <laughs> that, that, keeps you, that keeps you in prayer. I'm like, I'm telling you, go. Well, where is such and such? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's yeah. a joy. It's a joy. It is. It's a blessing. Yeah. We tied the book. <laughs> <laughs> Never let him see you sweat, Sister Bon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's something else. He was up there today. I asked him to do something. Oh, I always have to work. Why <laughs> I said, oh, you don't know what work is. Put that back and clean it. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> How old is he now? Five. Oh, man, oh. he's only five and saying that? <laughs> uh -huh. I always have to work. I'm like, oh, no. Now come here. Am I finished? No, you're not. You don't know what work is. <laughs> yeah, man. Eh? This this new generation is definitely different. <laughs> you better say that. Mm. I was gonna say he seems older than five. He seems well, he thinks, oh, really? he, yeah. He thinks he's older than five. <laughs> 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 I have to keep reminding him. I be sitting up there arguing with him sometime and I'm like, Wait a minute. <laughs> we <laughs> you, you, you didn't know. Right, right, right. Why the heck am I saying that? Nikki had to Nikki had to remind me of that. I was finding myself doing the same thing. Uh, I'm getting better at it. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. And I guess we, we were raised where you, you know, some adult told you to do something, you 
you know, you kind of get in your, you know, you didn't question it. It's just like. And if you did, you better go way up the block. I know. Well, well yeah, you, the you could question it, but not right with them. No, no. You better be within your mind, you question it. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully the they weren't reading it that day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, you're right. So yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. They certainly do it different than we did. That's for sure. That they do. That's yeah. That is really true. Mm -hmm. I'm standing on God's foot. <laughs> yes. That's the best place to stand. No, yeah. yeah. that's right. Twenty two at six. Train them up in the way that they should go. When they get old, they'll come back. Yeah. When they get tired, they'll come back. <laughs> but you know, right? You know, as they're getting older, so are we. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's for sure. I feel every bone in my body now. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I used to didn't feel it, but man. I know I've been putting uh, turmeric in everything because my joints are like, what is going on? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> everything hurts and pops now. I don't know. I know. It's like, oh, oh. Pops are creeping in. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Keep on moving, ladies. Keep on moving. <laughs> no. Oil can. Remember Wizard of Oz? <laughs> I need my oil pan. <laughs> or sometimes you see your reflection. I know for me, and I'm like, oh my goodness, that's my mother in the mirror. Like, where did that come from? <laughs> where did she come from? Where did that picture of my mother come from? Oh, God help me. Yes. Oh, you're so right. I was laughing at somebody, you know, how you thread a needle. And I remember my mom used to always tell, Alicia, come in here and thread this needle right. for me. Um, and I'm like, man, why can't she, all she has to do is do this. Girl, you should see me, like a half an hour. To put a needle, you know, put that thread through that little bitty hole. Man, I bought me those, what is those darning needles now that had them big old holes in them. Yeah. Oh. Where they at? When my right. son is there, I'm like, before you go, thread this needle. Because yeah, right? <laughs> it'll take me a couple days. <laughs> I a lot of those grandchildren. They got those good eyes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so well, thanks. You said, Harriet, at one point you were saying something about there was something that you did you couldn't or didn't want to do. Maybe it was in the finance room because you said it was hard for you to grip it. I can't remember what. Yes, it was. yes. And at the time, I was like, "Oh, okay." But now, like, what is she talking it. about? I, I can't remember <laughs> what it was. You said, "No, that's hard for me to do because I can't grip it." And I'm like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> and I honestly, for the life of me right now, can't remember what it was, but I was in the kitchen trying to do something the other day, and I'm like, and that when you said that, it went in my head, I'm like, oh, God, oh, Harry, get whatever Harriet's going through. <laughs> I can't yeah, get a grip yeah. of holding on to it. It was your mm -hmm. thing with your fingers. Right. I was trying to, I think I was trying to flip the pages or something and, and my yeah, fingers were not You said that and I was like, oh, is that what I have to look forward to? And yes, that was what I had to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, I remember what it was. Putting it's the humbling. Ribbons, it's the humbling. Ribbons, putting the ribbons on people with the pins. Yes, with the pins. That was it. I oh. did something yes. similar to Literally. that. I'm like, what is okay. It? My hands. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh. It was like it's not that I want to do it. I didn't want to do it anymore. It was that my fingers wouldn't. It's like no. <laughs> It would just take me long. I could do it, but it would free. take me longer. It was like, and then I dropped the pen, and it's like, oh well. Like, <laughs> <laughs> who's got glue? Can we just glue these things on? I know. <laughs> That'd be easier. I need to help somebody. Oh, have mercy. <laughs> That's something that when we go back next year, we'll have to think about okay, let's just Velcro these things on the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right? 
Yeah. <laughs> Ain't bad. Mm -hmm. There's any funny. other closing thoughts before we wrap it up? Yeah. Our next our next outdoor meeting is in the first is it the first Sunday in August? I don't believe so. Let no. me look at my calendar. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's on the 8th and the 22nd. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And the 22nd, yeah. So we try to do it like every other Sunday, but sometimes it just, it may not work that mm -hmm. way. But we're only going to be doing it through that part of it. Through so, September, August. we have two a month scheduled, and I don't know if that's going to coincide with coming back inside. I don't know how that's working. I'm not part of the meetings, so I, I have no clue. I just know that we have our outdoor services planned through September, and we don't have any plan for October on. So, How long do we have the tent? Um, we own the tent, but with the, the permit is only good through the end of September. Oh, okay. So if we okay. wanted to continue it, we'd have to get a new permit. So mm -hmm. we only, okay. we just kind of figured it through September. We figured we're paying for the permit. We may as well just put it out that long. So mm -hmm. I don't know how long that's going to be. I don't know anything. I, I know nothing. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Everything seemed like it started. I'm the research. I'm like, man, we're going back oh, really again. Oh, I it's, know. It's yeah. Really. How is it out where you are good. right now, Teresa? Are they are they kind of shutting things down, or have they had a surge over there? Uh, yes, they're they're kind of on the fence with doing things, but some but they do have some mandates and everything. But you know, people are just fighting stuff. So. Yeah. Florida has the highest. Mm. Florida is one of the highest states with the resurgence of the yeah. the mm. new um, the new strain, and they just now said that they want people to pe put their masks on mm -hmm. indoors, whether or not they're vaccinated or not. Mm -hmm. But their governor, he's he fights against all of that. He's not. He's a Trump number two, oh, if you boy. can believe it. Not yeah. your favorite, obviously. No, no, no. So it's it's hard. And I've just noticed my mom and I keep our masks on when we leave uh, her apartment. We mask mm -hmm. up and we keep it on till we get back. And it doesn't matter where we go. We have it on. But there's a lot of people here that are not not doing that. So... Yeah, I think uh, you would think one of the highest too. And where Louisiana, where I'm going? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, along with Florida and Alabama and Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I will keep mine on as well. Even when I was there for my brother's funeral, people were giving me a hard time just because I was still I was just shocked because I was so used to wearing my mask in California and then they would they would just say take off your mask and I was like yeah. no so said, there's a couple of pictures of me with my, my mask it was either <laughs> my chin you know yeah. but yeah that that and that was one of the things I really thought about before you know thinking I'd be traveling again to Louisiana I it was it it's, it was just that I didn't want to deal with that Again, uh, well, also on the airline, you know, just wearing the mask the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I still do mm. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, my thing is, too, there's a lot of people, a lot of people have forgotten before the mask thing came into place. There are a lot of people with illnesses that wore masks just Thank to, protect, you. Right. to yeah. protect their health. So that's right. You know, when you're dealing with, uh, people that are working in hospitals or that have medical conditions they they are messed up and they should be messed up mm -hmm. so, absolutely uh, just to make that general assumption is kind of uh, it's irresponsible because you don't know what a person's situation is right mm -hmm. that's two, right uh if i'm concerned for my health and 
I just have to be totally honest. Everybody that claimed that they got a shot didn't. And mm -hmm. they were happy when the no mass law went into place. So, mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. my trust in the general public is just weak. So I will, yeah. I will be passed up for yeah. me and mm -hmm. my family. Yeah. Yeah, I think this country's just taken their privileges of freedom to the point of not really wanting to care about others other than them, you know, other than themselves. It's like mm -hmm. what Paul says, you things, everything is an expedient. It may be lawful, it may be okay, but in thinking about others, is it something that yeah. you feel you want to take that freedom to do? Mm -hmm. And um you know, this country just loves the fact of being individuals and doing things for them, their own, their own selves. Mm -hmm. Like it says there, indulgers mm -hmm. of the desires of the flesh and the mind. They want right. what they want and they don't care how they get it, you know, and uh, yeah. it's at risk mm -hmm. as they do. They're also hurt by it, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, exactly. exactly. They were by yeah. nature children of wrath, even as the rest. It's so true. Mm -hmm. I mean, this word, man. <laughs> yeah, and it's getting it's worse for so children. Mind. Yeah, there's nothing new. You know, they're even trying to get. I we're living. I know we're. If I'm, I when I read Revelations, um, I know that we're in the beginning of the last days because in the end times. You're going to have to take something if you're left behind just to, you got to take the mark of the beast or something, but they're already trying to clone. Look, they're trying to get us all to, even our children, they're trying to make it to where they have to take a shot, you know, little children. Um, so I just keep, but Jesus says, to his word says to fear not, you know. We don't have nothing to fear because we know who our Redeemer is. But, you know, the, the devil's out there. He's allowing the devil to roam. Uh, sucks, but, you know, we just have to do what we have to do to protect ourselves and our loved ones, you know. And, and I done had, you know, those. So here's my lotion. Alcohol. Uh sanitizer is my lotion and then mask I got it's so many of them you know that it's it's just it's normal right now it's now yeah. and even you have the car you didn't got your shot but nobody's asking nobody could I see your card you know <laughs> what do we get them for <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna happen so they're gonna start they're gonna start so uh I don't fear not because I know that this is something that God says his word will not come back void. You know, it's going to have to happen. Uh, you know, I, I just wouldn't have dreamed that I've saw what I've saw in the last three mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. And it's going to, you know, we yeah. have to hold on because it's going to get worse. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. On that note, <laughs> we need. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, we fear not. That's right. Trust in God. Amen. Hey, he's in control mm -hmm. anyway. What, are, what is wrong? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is. Sorry, but it's not going to change anything, and it's certainly not going to change his mind. He doesn't need our permission. Right. I don't even worry no more because he yeah. tells me not to do it. I just trust in him. That's you it. know, even when I don't understand, mm -hmm. I still trust him. Mm -hmm. He'll never steal us from. Yeah. All right. So I will send the new lesson out by this weekend. Not a super long one. It's called The Bad News Before the Good News. <laughs> <laughs> two, one through three. Oh my goodness. Okay. Bad news. Drop that one out. All right. Very cool. All right, ladies. Um, I will pray us out and get us out of here. I know poor Michelle. She's on. God uh, bless you, ladies. Ten forty already. God bless yeah. you all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Gracious heavenly Father, Lord. 
thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning and giving us our portion thank of you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, and giving us, allowing us to see another day to rejoice and be glad in another opportunity to praise, honor, and worship you, Lord. Lord, before you pray, we ask forgiveness of our sins, known and unknown, and we thank you for your grace and your mercy. And Lord, I just want to thank you for all these ladies here tonight, for their hearts, their minds, their beautiful insight, and so many beautiful words from so many beautiful ladies. We're so grateful for this time in your word. And Lord, I just want to pray for Sister Diane, for her children, her grandchildren, her sisters, her family, her whole family, Lord, and, and their husbands and children, and we just lift them all up to you and for putting this ministry, the toddler puppet Thank ministry, you, in her heart, Lord, and she's just so amazing, Lord. We Thank just you, Lord Jesus. For, for her service and for Sister mm -hmm. Teresa and all of her children and nice grandchildren and family back home taking care of everything and Lord, we just thank you for the Praise testimony God. you are giving her and Larry right now and for just thank keeping you. a hedge of protection and light around I them said. and bringing that healing to Larry, Lord. And we just, we pray for safety and travel, yes, Lord. Us, Lord, as they head yes, back Lord. home. And we thank you that this was a much quicker trip around this time, Lord. Thank and you, Lord Jesus. I ask that you revive and refresh them once they get back home. And Yes. Sister Michelle and Sister Leela, we were so blessed with her presence, both of us today, and we thank them. We know it's so late where they are, and just for their families, for for Sister Michelle's children, and, and yes, Sam, thank you, their son holding down the fort right now, Lord. Oh, God. We just lift them all up to you, and Lord, for her traveling grace as well, and thank just her, thank all of our safety now with this new COVID, and we know that some of our sisters will be traveling and are traveling, yes, Lord, thank you for keep them safe. For Sister Alicia and her children and her family, for Davion and for yes, her so sister, Lord. her brothers, Lord, and we just lift that entire family right up to you, even the, the family Jesus. that's still grieving the loss of Alicia, Lord, and we just yes, ask Lord. that you comfort their hearts, and for Sister for Harriet, Jesus. for her family, Lord, and all that she's been through, and for her trip to Louisiana, for, for her traveling grace as well, and just to keep her, keep your hedge of protection yes, around her, Lord, for that funeral Thank on Saturday, as they say goodbye to Emery, and Lord, for her sisters who are just all over for, just to give Sister Harriet strength, Lord, during this time that we have her going through. And we thank you for the testimony this brings and how it gives us hope. And, and we just, it gives us another opportunity yes, to cry out to you, like we were talking about David, who just continuously cried out to the mm -hmm. Lord and yeah. got him in everything. And it gives yes, us another Lord opportunity Jesus. to lean on you and honor and worship and praise yeah. the Lord. Those Thank times you. of prayer are, are so crucial and, and so comforting to us in those times. Thank you, Father I'm God. You're the only one that can help us. You're the only one that can bring us comfort and peace. And Lord, we just ask that you blanket us in that peace and that you keep that love at the forefront of our minds and that that yes, is what we set out to do. Lord, we thank you. We love you. We praise and worship you. And we pray all of these prayers in the Praise God. Amen. 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 Ladies, I love you. Be careful out there. God bless you. See you okay. today. Let us know if you need anything. We are here for you. <laughs> love Thanks you guys. a lot. God bless Thanks you. for your help. <laughs> yeah, right. Appreciate you all. Bye bye, bye right. now. Love you. Stay safe. Yeah. You too. You. Hey, darling.